Welcome to SAT 3310. We're talking about Python SQL, and this is a lab example review. Um, you can use this as a uh, learn by example when you're working on your uh, Python SQL lab. Uh, remember that you always want to uh, start your script with uh, declaring where your Python executable lives on your system with a shebang. Always make sure that you've got a nice comment block at the top. Um, you will need to define some variables. Uh, you should put in better comments than I do. And hopefully you can use better variable names and syntax than I do. Uh, but here you can see, for example, I'm setting up my database path. This is just the, the directory where my database will live. And because we're using SQLite 3, it's a single file database, which is very convenient. So here's my database um, file name. I need to make sure that Python is SQLite 3 aware. So you make sure that this module is installed on your system. And in the script itself, you need to make sure to remember to import that module so you can start using it. Uh, we need to create a connection to the SQL database. So I'm saying my connection equals the SQLite 3 module connect function. And then I'm just using my database path and my database file name. So I have my absolute path name. And I did a little uh, debug there. You can see um, I, I print out that I've opened that, that absolute path name successfully. Here, what I've done is I've set a variable uh, called SQL as my variable. Uh, again, I sincerely hope you can get better variable names than I do. Uh, but here, I'm setting my uh, SQL statement um, as a variable name. This makes it nice because you only have to go to one place then to change uh, your SQL query. In this lab, what I decided to do is let SQL do the work and rather than Python doing the work. So my SQL statement says I want to select as my output the manufacturer, the average of the altitude, and a count of everything from the wireless table out of my database file. And I'm going to want those results grouped by manufacturer. So it puts all the manufacturers together. Um, so all the apples will go into Apple, all the Cisco's will go into Cisco. And then I want that sorted by the altitude. So this should give a um, result of three columns, uh, manufacturer name, altitude, and the number of items under that manufacturer and in order of altitude. The statement now that I've got the SQL statement, I just want to um, actually run it. So I'm going to use our standard just cursor and I'm gonna say the cursor is my connection execute my SQL statement that was just previously defined. Um, once I've got that data in my, my cursor list or array, I'm going to say uh, for item in a list. So in this example, I'm just saying for each row in cursor, uh, print the row zero, row one, and row two, which were, if you recall, the manufacturer, the altitude, and then the count. That's it. That that let SQL do all the work. Um, Python was just sort of a wrapper around the SQL, um, printed it out, and uh, now you just gotta make sure you close the database. Uh, so I like doing it this way just because, again, SQL does the work, but you can see I still have my um, cursor array so I can use um, that to, to, to address each individual item. Um, and I like using the 4x in list uh, method. So hopefully this will give you some good ideas for creating your script in Python for using SQL.